монголчууд бид амны бэлгээс астын бэлэг гэж ярьдаг. Муу юмыг маш зөвнөж ярих юм бол битгэм магадлал их байдаа. Идрийн амьдралыг тэтгэгч юнит ярьдаг юм аа. За энэ усыг хадгалж хамгаалж байгаа, нөөцөлж байгаа энэ орчин энэ уул юм аа. Гэвч энэ уулнд маш улан зүйл өрсөлдөж байна. nation of Mongolia is home to about 3 million people, half of whom are nomadic herders living directly off their livestock and their land. Since 1960, their country's average temperature has increased by 4.1 degrees. Compare that to the temperature of the earth, which has gone up just about 1.5 degrees. So Mongolia is a landlocked country, 18th biggest country actually in the world. We are between China and Russia and GDP per capita is uh, around $4,300. Mongolia, you have to understand, is a nomadic herding society. That's what they've done for hundreds uh, of years. People rely on their herds and on agriculture to sustain themselves. And the animals provide everything to them, from milk to meat to household income to clothing to everything. Our nomadic herders have been for generations, for hundreds if not thousands of years, uh, moving from one place to, to another. You know that from the history, it goes uh, all the way to Genghis Khan and even to his predecessors. And if you think about the, the harsh conditions that they have to survive in, I mean, it takes a lot of creativity you know, to be able to go through the, the winter, the cold and, and the harsh conditions, oftentimes alone. Nomadic people. Nomadic means we move place to one place to another place because of weather and our animals and horse and our lifestyle. Whatever bad things happen, we need to move quickly. Монголчууд уламжлалт малаж байгаа эрхэлж одоо энэ 21-р зуун хүртэл явж ирснээр байгальд хамгийн алгүй одоо байдлаар амьдарч ирсэн ийм уламжлалтаа ард мөн гэж би үздэг. Үнэхээр одоо уур амьсгалын өөрчлөлт дасан зогсох шаардлагатай болох үед нь бол хамгийн онцлогчтой байдлаар одоо зогсохоос өөр домгүйл гэж одоо бодож байна л та. Because herders are so fiercely attached and dependent on their landscape they will undoubtedly uh, be greatly impacted by these changes in, in climate, whether it's water access or pasture health. And with this increasing number of livestock, Mongolia is probably very close, if not already, 
past its carrying capacity of livestock. This overextensive use of the land leads to overgrazing, leads to carrying capacities of uh, pasture grounds uh, being uh, overused, and climate change uh, does the rest. When people describe climate change today, what they're really describing is the overall increase in temperature throughout our, our world. The sun is emitting energy to our Earth's surface. That energy is then absorbed, but then some of it is also emitted. The natural progression for this emission of energy would be to exit the atmosphere. But with the anthropogenic influx of these radiatively active gases, CO2, N2O, methane, O3, these absorb outgoing radiation. And so once it's trapped, it's very difficult for it to leave. And as a consequence, we see the overall increase in temperature and has a cascading effect on a number of uh, Earth processes. Mongolia is one of the countries worst affected by climate change and has seen its temperatures increasing over the last 70 year time period by uh, over 2 degrees centigrade. So that means they're already over the critical thresholds that we are trying to avoid globally. So glaciers typically develop at high elevations or high latitudes and largely it depends on, on temperature. So you need a temperature uh, that can maintain a snowpack for many, many years. And then eventually, over hundreds of years, that snowpack will begin to develop a glacier. The glaciers of uh, the Altai Mountains are known as you know, the regional water towers. Um, and this is simply because they are these reservoirs of ice sitting in the high mountains. And so as the summer progresses, as the temperatures increase, the glacier begins to melt. And this water is very important in terms of herder livelihoods. It's feeding, it's supplying communities that live in, in, in much drier regions that have very limited access to water. The water is a very important resource in our life. No water, animal, human, everything is dead. Усны нөөцөд яаж нөлөөлж байгаа тийм мөнгө цэвдэгт одоо цэвдэг гэж би өөрөөр утгаар ярьж байгаа юм. Галаксиар одоо мөсөн гол тийм ээ. Мөсөн гол хайлт бол яг бүрэн нүдэн дээр явагдаж байгаа. Since roughly 1990 we've seen the glaciers of Mongolia retreat in total surface area by about 40%. The short term effect is that at the source there is more water, right? So so people are basically saying there is no problem, right? We have water. It's melting, we have water, right? But that, what I'm not seeing is the, the long-term effect of it. We'll see increasing rates of desertification, likely, the transition of grasslands to deserts. 25% of uh, Mongolia's landmass is desert by now, and 70% uh, is uh, considered degraded land in some shape or form. Зарим бис нь тооцоог оруулж одоо зарим тодорхой бүс нутгад жишээлбэл одоо гоё хөрийн бүс гэдэг юм завсрын бүс үүдэд агаарын температур одоо нэг орын 50-аас тал 80 жилийн дотор бол 
Энэ бараг зарим бүс нутагт л зургаас 7 градус цар. Одоо одоо юм байгаад биш гэж шүү дээ. Дулаарах тийм тоо сар бас магад. Once the last glacier is melt and the last drop of water from the glacier is gone, then the desert will start to creep in and get closer and closer. In the time between Одо хэрэгэл жа ус маань одо бихэл амтны одо одо ганц одо үндаан уулж байдаг. Тэгээ ус одо хөмбөр хайрлаа зөв зөвс ташлах юм бол ус шиг одо хэрэгт чухал зүйд одо байхгүй шиг гэдэг юм. Энд хэлхэн зүйд та бол уу ууж явд юм аа. Сургуулийн хөвгтүүдэд эхлээд одо энэ дунд насны хөвгтүүд төрчл ингээд сургуульд нь тийм усны талаар бас зөв усны хэдэн цагийн хичээл ороод United Nations development programs worked with the with the local communities so that as we go forward we are able to monitor and utilize and manage this scarce uh, resource that is so important for the herder communities in Mongolia. Ингээд манай энэ газар тариал нь эрхлэхт усны асуудал маш хоомс байдаг. Бас маш баг байдаг. Тийм учраас бид нар бас а өөртөө ус хэрэглэж холбоо гэж байгуулад тэр нэр энэ дээд дүн төвшний та газар тариад нэрхэлтэйгээ нээж зөвсөлжиж усыг бас зөв зөвчтэй цаг хугацаатай ашигтхын тулд зөвсөлжиж тийм ус хэрэглэж холбоо байгуулсан дээр нь манай бүлэгт нөгөө хөгжлийн сан энэ дасан зөксөх төслөөс а хуура хөдөг уснаас хуура хөдөг а амира усалтын систем хэрэгжиж ирснээр бидний газар тариад тарайл боломжийг нээж бид нэр энэ ус өрсгөл усыг тэтгэж байгаа энэ а чэцэг навч дэлгэрч хүн амт нь ундаалж а өв сургамл гарч а төний амьдрал усгүйгээр төсөөд хий аргагүй билээ ингээд усыг бид нэр алтнаас илүүд үзэж усыг чанд нь эрдэн гэж бид нэр дээдлэн хүндэтгэдэг байгаа all life uh, support system in mongolia adjusted accommodated to the existing climate condition to the cold climate condition they have no coping mechanisms nothing to fall back on and that drives uh, migration into the cities pollution is extremely high in Ulaanbaatar because of the burning of uh, coal 80% of Ulaanbaatar's air pollution comes from coal burning through the individual stoves that uh, people use in their gurs in the tents Тэр 2014 онд энэ Ulaanbaatar хот шилжин ирсэн байгаа Одоо миний манай гэрүүл амьдрж байгаа юу хариа баяу шүү. Тэр дондоо энэ сонгой архан дүүрэг Улаанбаатар энэ орчимд бол маш хахаарын бохирдол гэхтэй. Энэ нь бол маш одоо би одоо 5 настай хүүгээ өглөө цэцэрлэг төрүүлж өгөхтэй нь давхар маас гэдэг юм бол өглөөд нь ийм орчин өглөө өдрөлт өрнө удаанаас эхэл болоод байна л да. Хахаарын бохирдол илүү зоолж байна. Заавч хүн миний амьдрал биш энэ Улаанбаатар хотод амьдрж байгаа хүн бол нэл асуудал болчихсон баг энэ агаарын бохил гэдэг зүйл. Энэ машинтай өвж явахд бол юм бол 10-аас 15 минут цайд бол энэ бол юу ч харагдахгүй. Энэ бол утаа. Утаа юунаас бол энэ болж ийн ихээр түүхэн нүрс. Түүхэн нүрс бол шатаагүй байх үндс л байхгүй. 
нэг нүүр төлөхгүй бай гэхэд орон суусанд орох арга зам байгаа. Хүн зөвхөлт бол ер нь бол авах боломжгүй хэмжээнд хүрдэг. Залуу гэрүүлт бол маш. You literally feel the sulfur in in the air. You smell it. It's in your clothes. It's in your hair. It's uh, it's everywhere. Visibility is low, and it has led to increase in respiratory diseases by 40% over the last decade. One in ten deaths in uh, Ulaanbaatar can be attributed to air pollution, and these premature deaths are actually costing uh, Ulaanbaatar about 20% of its GDP. So costs are absolutely enormous. Karma is the most important teachings of the Buddhism. In the future, any time we will see the result of doing bad things. We are hurting or destroying our nature, we see the result. It's coming to us, it's the karma. Greed uh, poisoned our mind. So there is good thing, happens, bring good thing, bad thing, brings bad result. These are the, the conditions that Mongolia is trying to, to battle with. How do we use our natural resources, specifically water, in a responsible, sustainable fashion? But unfortunately, mining is really the powerhouse industry of the country. It's been termed Mongolia because it's so dominant. How do you regulate this development of, 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 of mining when it's so influential, um, yet so damaging to, to water at the same time. In winter it gets to minus 40 degrees Celsius, so of course we all need electricity, but in Mongolia, especially in winter, we need a lot of heating as well. So until now, the cheapest and the simplest way to get the energy is from coal. We need to find different ways of growing the, the industries and growing the, the economies. It cannot be on the backs of the fossil fuels, as it was in the past. There is an agreement now across the board that that option that we pollute now and clean later in the 21st century is not an option anymore. Where there is demand, there will be a supply, right? So as long as we as an international community don't address the issue of coal by applying maybe a global tax on carbon, we won't get out of that cycle and we will only decrease the demand if we make it more expensive. Considering that coal is, is a finite product, and that it is also a contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Um, it really only makes sense that this source of power, this source of energy, should be substituted with uh, more green and cleaner energy solutions.
it turns out that Mongolia is probably one of the richest in wind and solar energy. We feel that in the future, if we're clever and do things right, then we can even be an exporter of renewable energy. That said, there needs to be some type of a trajectory into alternative uh, sources of energy. But of course, I understand that it's very uh, initial investment is very high, and therefore people are hesitating. Therefore, we need not only just uh, finance support money, but uh, even some knowledge, know-how. People from outside who have some experience, who have some capacity, knowledge, and to assist us. Unless we insert, embed those green solutions, green technologies now, we're locking in all the environmental uh, footprints for the generations to come. This is something that needs urgent addressing. Investing into this now will basically uh, uh, guarantee the future of uh, their uh, children and grandchildren and uh, preserve their nomadic uh, herding culture. Чингис хаан маань одоо 1910 оны үеиг мэдээд одоо өнөө өдөр одоо 2015 онд Алтай тавган богдын мөсөл мөсөн гол дээр очих юм бол энэ мөсний тал нь хайчих ба түүнээс илүү хайша алгуулж болох вэ гэх багта гэж л төсөөлж байна. What separated the ice age from the modern era was only about 4 to 5 degrees Celsius. Only slight fluctuations in temperature can have very dramatic impact. Um, on our global system. How local community will survive? They cannot, uh, they will not have any more water for irrigation, for uh, domestic consumption, and for livestock and so on. Therefore, it is very dangerous. It changes uh, the equation uh, for Mongolia completely because the water and the land, basically, the intact ecosystems will not be there to sustain traditional nomadic livelihoods. My father comes from a nomadic herders family in Eastern Mongolia. He's one, the youngest of the 13 children. We're very proud with this tradition. And of course, it will be very sad if the tradition that persisted hundreds and hundreds of years will disappear just in a few decades because of something which Mongolians didn't do. And uh, I'm from a Hedrin family, I'm not a city boy uh, actually. And, and therefore, uh, uh, you know, the all about climate change is very really, uh, um, important for me, not only as a professional, as an official and so on, but as a just human being. We cannot continue, I mean, not only in Mongolia, but world, worldwide, with the extraction and the burning of the fossil fuels the way we have gone so far. I don't think we need to uh, repeat the mistakes of the in industrialized world where, you know, um, consumption, consumption, consumption and getting richer and richer is number one thing. And then we'll... Uh, work out later how uh, the environment and the ecosystem will react to that. I think we need to change the environment and the ecosystem will react to that. I think we need to change the environment and the ecosystem will react to that. I think we need to change the environment and the ecosystem will react to that. I think we need to change the our shared uh, prosperity can only be protected if everyone contributes. Mongolia is already over the two degrees uh, threshold. We're already seeing the effects that it's uh, doing on desertification, on melting glaciers, on water sources uh, drying up and people basically not being able to uh, survive in uh, rural areas. Climate change is basically aggravating what is already a very challenging uh, situation for herders out there. Монголчууд бид амны бэлгээс ачтын бэлэг гэж ярьдаг муу юмыг маш зөвнөж ярих юм бол битгэх магадлал их байдаг. Өөр амьсгалын өрсөлт бол удаа хугацаагаар хайхрахгүй орхиж болохгүй асуудал юм байна. За хэрвээ бид ингээд хайхрахгүй яваад байх юм бол цаашид амьдралын маш олон өнөц зүйлийг алдаж болохоор байна.